Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the lowest common multiple or LCM of two numbers by prime factorization. Now in a previous video we saw how we could find the lowest common multiple of two numbers by just listing the multiples of the larger number until we saw a multiple of the smaller number. But this might be a problem if the numbers are quite large because I'm going to have to list lots of multiples of 126 until I see a multiple of 120. So another strategy is to first find the prime factorization of each of these two numbers. And if you don't know how to find the prime factorization of a number, then please watch that video first. And what we do now is to write these prime factorizations of these two numbers we want to find the LCM of side by side. So we've got the 2 to the 3 times 3 times 5. And then the other one I'm going to list just below. We've got the 2 times by 3 squared. And then we've also got this 7. Now what you should do is put the 7 in a column to itself because we want to make sure each of these columns involve the same prime factor. So this is your 2 column, this is your 3 column, this is your 5 column, and this is your 7 column. And if this first number doesn't have a 7 in the prime factorization, then just leave it blank. At this point, to find the LCM of the two numbers, I just ask what wins in each case. I'm not going to go into too much detail into that. And what I mean by what wins is whatever has the highest index. So can we see that 3 is bigger than 1, so the 2 to the 3 wins over 2 to the 1. What about 3 squared and 3? What wins? Well, 2 is a bigger index than this index of 1 here, so this wins. What about 5 and nothing? Well, 5 is going to beat nothing, so we have 5. And what wins out of 7 and nothing? Well, 7 wins, and we have that. And you may then need to work out what this number actually is, or the question might allow you to write your answer in its prime factorized form.